have two speakers. Both of them are speaking from the Entertaining Speaker Manual, which is one of my favorites. So these are going to be two awesome speeches, I'm sure. Our first feature, speaker, feature, Mr. Gourmet. Get her on that. <laughs> that was so good, yes. Is Glenn Gorman. Glenn has been a Toastmaster for almost two years. He's earned his confident communicator. Yeah. And today he's doing a speech entitled Change Your World. So please help me to welcome Glenn Gorman. talk to you guys today about a conversation you're having with yourselves. You're talking to yourself. All day long, every day, you're talking to yourself. You're like a crazy person, Tony. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, you're not crazy. You're normal. I, as far as I can tell. But, we're all talking to ourselves every day. There's an inner dialogue, right? And it's funny because what would we think if we saw somebody walking down the street having a conversation with themselves? And if you've ever lived in New York City or been to New York City, you might have seen this. I've seen it myself. It looks something like this. I've seen this firsthand. It's not pretty. But here's the funny thing. If you see somebody like that, what would you say? You'd say, Guy's nuts. He's out of his freaking mind, right? And yet, that's what we all really do all day long. We have an inner dialogue. The only difference between us and him is that we keep it on the inside, right? We don't verbalize it. But the point I want to make is this. If you're going to be talking to yourself that much, it's critical, critical that you're saying the right things. And by saying the right things, what do I mean? What I mean is positive things, uplifting things, encouraging things, not negative, self-defeating things. Have you ever found yourself saying things like, I don't think I can do this, or I'm not any good at this, and I'm never going to be good at this? What do you think happens when you say things like that to yourself? You know what happens, right? You convince yourself. You convince yourself that it's true. There's an expression. Whether you think you can or you can't, you're right. I'll give you an example of this. Um, there's a story about two fighters. We'll call them A and B. And a and B are fighting for a long time. The fight is going on and on and on. They are exhausted. They're both ready to drop. And finally, it gets to the point where A says to himself, I can't go on any longer. And just at that moment, B thinks, I can give one more punch. And he gives it. And down goes A. And that was the difference. What was the difference there? Two of them, both in the same situation, exhausted. The difference is what they thought. More accurately, what they told themselves. And that's why what we tell ourselves is so important. Not just in a moment like that, but for our whole lives. Because really, our thoughts, to a very, very large extent, shape our lives. 60 years ago, Dr. Norman Vincent Peale said, change your thoughts and you change your world. And this is true. And we have that opportunity every minute of every day to change our thoughts and change our world. Don't wait till it's too late. I was reading about this study recently. It was called the Cornell University Legacy Project. They what they did was they interviewed hundreds of people over the age of 65 
and they asked him this question. Looking back on your life, what is the thing you regret the most? The answer they got time and time again was this. I wish I hadn't spent so much of my life worrying. Worry. Sound familiar, anybody? Mm -hmm. It does to me. And I was thinking about it. Worry. What is worry, really? I, I think what it is is negative self-talk. When you're worrying, you're going around saying things like, oh man, my friend just got laid off. What if I lose my job? What am I gonna do? Or my kid's struggling in school. You know, what if he gets bad grades? He, he can't get into a good college. He's not gonna be happy. How am I gonna deal with this? Or, oh Lord, please don't let my husband or wife be on the hacked email list for AshleyMadison.com because that's going to be bad. I can't handle that. That's what we call, uh, if you ever, anybody heard of Stuart Smalley, a character from Saturday Night Live? He would have called that stinking thinking. Okay? But here's what we need to do. We need to turn that around. Turn that thinking around. Say things to yourself like, I am smart. I'm a hard worker. There will always be a job for me. And my kids are intelligent and they were raised right. They will be happy and they will be successful. I know it. And my marriage is strong and will last a lifetime. Forget about Ashley Madison. Not happening. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the point, guys. I want you to remember this. You are in control. You're in control. You have the power over your thoughts. You get to choose them. Don't let them choose you, Sujatha. Don't let them choose you. Because if you choose the right thoughts, you can literally change your world. Madam President. Wow, okay.